Hi, welcome to the next section and here we are going to talk about what more can you do with your data. So we are going to take a look here at ways of uh, limiting data to only the required information that you need in your data model. In this video, we are going to focus first on the WHERE clause. WHERE clause is one of the ways that helps you to limit your data to a certain criteria so that you can pull out only the required information. What happens when you use the WHERE clause is your data set is reduced and obviously that helps with reducing the load time. And uh, if you feel that the WHERE clause isn't enough for you and you want to use something more, you could perhaps try using the WHERE exists as well. This is another way of uh, being able to pull out any specific information. So I will show you an example of WHERE exists later, but for this video, we are focusing on WHERE. The syntax for WHERE is to put in the keyword WHERE followed by the criteria that you would like to use. And an example of this is shown below, where you can see that I have put in the criteria for product ID greater than 50. So only those product IDs which are greater than 50 will be pulled out for you. Or a criteria where the country is like United. So that means it will start pulling out countries that begin with the term United. So United States, United Kingdom, all these would be pulled out from my result set. So this is an example. Let's go into uh, ClickSense to take a look at my script here. I have pulled out a table with just basic information, employee ID and title. And what's happening here is that I would like to check once I apply my criteria, uh, what's exactly being pulled out into my table. And the employees table is the one that we are going to apply the criteria to. So what I want to do here is I would like to pull out only those employees that belong to a sales team. And because I do not have a department column in my script, what I'm doing is I'm just using the title instead. And here I have put in my criteria right after the from, and then I say where the title, that's a mistake there. You cannot use equals. I'm going to use like, and my requirement here is not just sales representative, but any, let's fix that, any title that starts with sales. So it could be sales manager, it could be sales representative, sales executive, any title that starts with sales or any title that starts with accounts. You could have account managers, account representatives, etc. Once I've put in my criteria, all I need to do now is load my data and check if the data is loaded according to my specification. So I'm going to load the data now and hopefully you can see a reduced number of rows for uh, the employees table in this window, but I'm just going to wait for that to get done. So you can see here there's only 17 rows pulled out right now compared to previously there were about 35 plus rows but once you've seen this it's also good to verify what information was pulled out based on your criteria so i'm going to close this and let's go back to my table here and you can see that i have a reduced set now so i have only those people that i've specified in my criteria being pulled out into my table so this is how the where clause actually works i only have now salespeople in my table obviously because I am looking at invoices and I'm looking at shipments and consignments. Um, so I don't want to have anyone else from other departments because that's not relevant to my analysis that I'm doing. So a reduce table also helps to reduce load time and the where clause is very useful in pulling out only information that you need. If you have worked with databases and you know how SQL language works, I think this is something that's very easy for you to pick up as well. So just a quick round up here, on the WHERE clause, you can use in your load statements. It can be used with the loading from any data source, not just uh, text files or Excel files. It can be used for database files as well. And this is one way to reduce uh, the loading time because you're loading only specific information as required. All right, so I'm going to stop here now and uh, we are going to move on to the next video where we will take a look at WHERE exists and we will also talk about a new keyword that's known as resident load. Thank you.